Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com here at CES 2013 where Sony has unveiled their most high-end smartphone ever, the Xperia Z. It's got a 1080p screen, a lot of power, and a really interesting hardware design. We're going to talk about it now. Let's go. So the first thing I want to point out is the design. On the Nexus 4 and the Optimus G, you get glass on the front, a lot of fingerprints here, I know, glass on the back, uh, but here with the Experience you also get glass on the sides, and yeah, it makes us a little worried about the durability of the device, but Sony claims that this is high durability glass. Look at that, glass on every end, glass everywhere you look. Really, really striking design here. Let's take a look at all around the edges. Uh, everything is behind the flat. We've got a dot here uh, with a Sony dot that allows you to, you know, dock it. Uh, these flaps are actually a little bit challenging to open. So we've got charging right here for micro USB, of course. Over here, we've got a micro SD expansion. You have to believe me that it's there. It's really hard to peel away. Moving around to the bottom, we've got some phraseology about it being a prototype. Really, really thin design, by the way. Uh, we've got a volume rocker here and a really interesting power button placed kind of down low, like a Lumia 920 almost, right in the middle, which is great because the device is kind of tall like a Droid DNA. And really, this is competing with a Droid DNA. So, power up here, over here, on this flap, we've got the micro SIM slot. I think it's micro SIM, probably micro SIM, not the nano SIM. And on the top, we've got, again, everything is behind a flap, we've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now let's turn this on and talk about specs. Obviously the big thing here is that we've got a 1080p screen. So it's 1920 down by 1080 across, just like the Droid DNA, which means that everything is super sharp and super clear. And one thing that we did notice, however, is that the viewing angles aren't as spectacular as we would have liked to, liked to have seen. We don't have a Droid DNA here, but we do have a 1X. We can compare them here. I'm going to get my hand out of the way. And I'm going to tilt it over to the side. So it might be difficult to see. Let me try this again. Tilt them over to the side. The viewing angles on the One X with the SLCD2 are, are definitely a little bit better than we get here on the Xperia Z. So inside we've got an S4 Pro quad core chip and two gigabytes of RAM. The same configuration we've seen on the Optimus G and on the Nexus 4. And this is the first time I'm using it here. And let's see how quick it is. We have no internet connection here, so let's just move in and out of apps quickly, see how it responds. Probably a, the lightest Sony skin we've ever seen yet. Uh, that's an interesting feature here. So we've got, I guess, what are kind of some quick shortcuts. It looks like we can add some installed apps, although only from a pre-configured list. Uh, so moving around, it looks, it doesn't look like stock Android. It looks like it's been skinned. Every icon is different, of course. We've got these PlayStation Mobile links, movies, and so forth. Again, no internet connection, so we're not going to be able to do that much. Another design element I want to point out here is that here at the top, the speaker is exactly the same as the microphone. So if it's kind of sitting on a table, if the Sony icon wasn't there, you really wouldn't be able to tell uh, which way is on the top. We've got an LED notification light at the top, a 13 megapixel camera, and we know Sony does killer cameras, so we're really excited uh, to see how this looks. And yes, as my camera guy just told me, it is waterproof. I'm your repair behind the camera reminding me, you can drop this in a toilet and it will be okay. Maybe my dream phone. So here we've got the camera. Here we've got the camera, and I'm just going to take a picture of some text, right? All right, and let's see how that looks. Can I read that text? Damn, that's pretty good. Uh, really good camera. This screen is just so nice, except for the viewing angles. All right, let's jump around a little bit more. We're going to have a lot more time with this when we get a review unit in. Let's see if we can go into any apps. Actually, it would be nice to go into the photo gallery, and then we can flick around on some pictures. Uh, well, front-facing camera. All right, there we are, right there. Yep, there's Michael Fisher in the background. Wow, look at this Sony skin. Really clean, really nice. Flick to the side. Let's check the Android version here. Fingers crossed that Sony got it right. Something that Sony has done in the last many devices is that they're a little bit behind. A little bit behind the software, a little bit behind in hardware. And I think they're finally reversing that trend. We've got Jelly Bean here, which is fantastic. And of course, this is an LTE phone. That's pretty much everything you want to know about it uh, in, in, in the course of a five minute video here. This is a darn nice phone. Definitely Sony's most high end phone ever. They also announced 
a derivative of this phone called the ZL, which basically is not waterproof. It has the same specifications, and the screen is actually, it fills up more of the front. It's a very interesting phone uh, that we're going to look at the ZL, but this is the Z. This is their highest end phone yet, and it is darn impressive. We've got some people yelling around us, and uh, that means it's time to end the video. Uh, we'll be back with, with more soon. That's it for now.